Hi, it's Dwyer, April 29th, 2018. Let's talk about Deontay Wilder's $50 million offer to Anthony Joshua. Let me just say this. You need to take that offer seriously. I know in the press right now, Eddie Hearn is saying, hey, they haven't, you know, sent me the details of the contract and stuff like that. Folks need to understand the way boxing works. You get a commitment from your opponent and then you go out and you get financing, right? Understand the money for this big of a heavyweight unification match is there. Just compare and contrast it to the Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor fight where Conor McGregor was guaranteed, folks, guaranteed. 30 million dollars right guaranteed understand too the money that conor mcgregor made on the back end according to forbes may have netted mcgregor more than a hundred million dollars understand of course on the other side of the ledger floyd mayweather made at least nine figures at least nine figures fighting conor mcgregor right the pay-per-view on that fight was more than four million pay-per-view buyers now, if anyone, if anyone understands the economics of the Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor fight, it's Al Heyman, Floyd's advisor, who was intricately involved in the planning and execution of Mayweather, Conor McGregor. So let's be conservative here, right? We'll be conservative and simply say, that the Floyd Mayweather Conor McGregor fight netted purses for the two guys of greater than a hundred million dollars. Right? Understand Deontay Wilder's group is guaranteeing guaranteeing Anthony Joshua fifty million dollars. Right? Economically, that fight is viable. Understand, Anthony Joshua is a cash cow. Right? Understand, too, go back years. Look at the money Lennox Lewis made fighting Mike Tyson. Right? Far more than a decade ago. Let me also say, too, that Deontay Wilder's managerial group, or group of advisors, we'll call them, right? The word manager kind of has a certain connotation legally that we don't want to have here. Just understand that Deontay Wilder's advisors are repeat players. In addition to Al Heyman, there is Shelley Finkel, who has been in the boxing game and the music game, like Heyman, for decades. These are serious people. Now, the big question for gamblers, the huge question for gamblers, is whether Anthony Joshua, who just won a 12-round decision at home by wide margins in a fight in which he was outlanded, according to CompuBox, on power punches, right? Is Anthony Joshua willing to risk all of his belts away from home? Because Lord knows if I'm going to pay the money that Heyman and Finkel are seeking in order to guarantee $50 million to Anthony Joshua, then I would expect that I would have the opportunity to name the location and venue of the fight. Right? Keep in mind, too, the way the world has gone, right? The 1% have gotten that much richer. Right? You have parties all over the place who are catering to that 1% who might want to pay the premium necessary to have this fight happen in their backyard, whether it's some big-time casino in Las Vegas. And let's remember Steve Wynn right, put together a Buster Douglas fight, Buster Douglas of Vander Holyfield, because he wanted all eyes on his casino at the time. Keep in mind, you have emerging locales like Dubai, which has been rumored to be in play for many fights now, offering people like Manny Pacquiao and Amir Khan millions of dollars to come fight there. 
right? So, I know the public feels that these deals come together when someone has something concrete and can say, here's the source of my funds, right? Here's what I'll use to pay the $50 million to Anthony Joshua. That's not the way the world works. What you have here is Al Heyman and Shelley Finkel risking their reputation and, of course, their know-how. These guys have delivered in the past, as Floyd Mayweather knows well. They're putting their public images on the line and they're saying, AJ, here's a $50 million offer. You sign the dotted line, we'll get the financing. Right? Eddie Hearn knows the way the game is played. Sign the dotted line. Commit to being willing to fight our guy for $50 million sometime during this time frame. And we'll go out and get the money. Just like we did when Floyd Mayweather fought Conor McGregor. How did that fight work out? Right? According to some reports, Floyd Mayweather cleared over $200 million. Right? Think it through. Here, they're offering AJ 50. And to the Anthony Joshua crowd, how comfortable are you? And it's a question that needs to be asked. With AJ fighting away from home. Right? He was at home against Vladimir Klitschko. He was on the canvas. Right, he gets off the canvas. The one thing he knew when he got off the canvas was that the crowd was still with him. Right, he was at home against Joseph Parker. He understood that at home he wasn't going to be at a disadvantage. He wasn't going to lose the benefit of the doubt from judges who were influenced by the crowd, if any judges were. I'll choose my language carefully. Right? How confident are you in AJ fighting a guy who will have knockout power from the start of the fight to the end of the fight? Right? Who people like Tyson Fury believe. Lennox Lewis believe are going to be a serious threat to Anthony Joshua, who already has been on the canvas in a prior fight. Right? Let's just think it through. So please, if you have one takeaway from this video, just understand, the $50 million offer from Wilder's group to Anthony Joshua is real. If Eddie Hearn stops trying to pose for the press, and if he's honest, he'll understand that the offer is real. Hell, Eddie himself, who's involved in AJ's big fights, knows that an event like this, a unification match between two unbeaten heavyweights, doesn't come around that often. Think Ali Fraser. Think Michael Spinks. Mike Tyson, right? Just think it through. Wilder against Joshua, or Joshua against Wilder, however you want to call it, is going to be an event. The Wilder people are basically saying, look, enough hearing that our guy should accept $15 million instead of $50 million. We'll take the risk, but if we take the risk, we're not going to fight at your venue, right? Are the Joshua people now going to step up and call the bluff? Are they going to say, okay, I'll be your huckleberry. I'll sign, I'll accept $50 million for this fight if it happens before the end of the year. I think they are in part because, one, the money is good. And two, I believe they understand the risk involved and it's substantial in fighting some of the other heavyweights. 
right? If I'm Anthony Joshua and I'm looking at even the remote possibility of fighting Alexander Povetkin for far less than this money, or fighting Deontay Wilder in a fight that really, historically, is going to be like Ali Fraser, right? It's going to be like Sphinx Tyson, right? I believe there's more risk in fighting Povetkin, possibly getting beaten by a guy who doesn't have the glamour of Deontay Wilder than there is fighting Deontay Wilder in a fight where as long as you have some heroic moments, right, the public will understand that you took the unbeaten opponent in the fight that had bigger legacy implications, right? Let me also close by saying this too. As I believe Golovkin is finding out, right? Uh, understand the IBF has now said to Golovkin, look, you need to fight our number one contender, Daryevchenko, if you're going to keep our title, right? Just understand that holding on to all the belts at heavyweight is going to be a challenge. You're going to have to offer a few mandatory contenders some step-aside money. Right? I understand that one of these sanctioning bodies has ordered Dylan White to fight Luis Ortiz. By the way, I'm taking Ortiz in that fight. Right? For a mandatory contender spot. Right? Understand, after that fight happens, that sanctioning body is going to expect their mandatory to get a shot at the title. So given the number of belts AJ has... If you're going to have a unification match, now is the time to do so before you lose some of these belts due to sanctioning body politics. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you to the hardcore. Expect the fight to possibly be in some place like Dubai. Right? Look for the spots with international profiles that want to make a statement, that want to say to the world, here we are, we have the money, we'll put on the event. Right? That's how I see it. Let me hear your comments. If you believe this is much ado about nothing, if you believe that a reigning heavyweight champion who has knocked out every man he has faced, right? Isn't serious. Even with Al Heyman and Shelley Finkel behind him in making a $50 million public offer to Anthony Joshua, tell us why in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>